So this past summer, I've made a few trips out to the U.S. National Whitewater Center. And this first trip, my buddy Drew and I made the journey. And we got there a little early, so yeah, as you can see here, we got to uh, get a couple unique looks at the water uh, before it was turned on. Got to take a walk down the wilderness section and uh, see how the water kind of flows through here. See the formations that are underneath, what causes the current, what causes all the different uh, water features uh, through the wilderness channel. So it's a pretty cool look here. As you can see right there, this is what creates uh, the, the bottom of the comp channel where all the main features are. And then coming up next, you're going to get to see a little bit of bird's eye view from the uh, wilderness section as well. Very pretty from up here to up here. Now let's just uh, go on. Drop on in and let's get this party started. Here we are, loading up, putting in. Get a little paddle slap. We'll take a uh, first trip around the Wilderness Channel. You guys can see some of the uh, features that are here. This is wrapping up some of the easier parts of the uh, Wilderness Channel. And as you can see, here I go. Start to turn me over, and I luck out right here. What you call this is a water feature underneath Snake Lips. It actually runs me right into it, flips me right back up. Uh, last Chance Eddy is right over here to the left, and I didn't get a shot and, or a chance to uh, take that. So we're going to head right on into m here, here, uh, into the meat of the Wilderness Channel. And as you can see later, my first run is my best run of the day, so don't be disappointed. You're going to see lots of uh, me getting wet here soon. Coming up here, you're going to see a little bit of a hole called shutdown. If you're not careful, it does shut you down, as you're going to see me later. Here, I skirt by the left side of it. Finish up with a nice little fun of biscuits and gravy. As 
as I said, my first run of the day was my cleanest run, I think, of the whole day. So let's go on up. Dive back in. See the beatering that's about to happen. The waves sucked me right back in. Did not paddle all the way through it. What happened? It sucked me right back. Don't worry, I'm not a quitter. Look for my boat. There she comes. Slide over the edge, get back in, let's hit it again. Ooh. Successful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, made it through M-Way finally. through. She's going to turn you up. Shut down. Shut me down. Can I get my boat? Oh. Of course, no other rubber was coming around in the big boats to knock it out, so I had to try to trek back up the side, see if I can get it. Just barely grabbed it. Washing me on down the current. see if I can do any successful surfing. Third time, can I do it? Nope, nope. Success. Trip two. Let's go. Let's see how this one works out. Such a beautiful day. Hanging out with a bigger crew this time. A lot of friends with us. Went with us this day. Bottoms up, boys. Peters unite. Peters unite. Yeah. Yeah. 1020. <laughs> <laughs> now just a little montage of the day.
Now, this time I went with a little more confidence in myself and my skills. Uh, I wanted to make sure I could try the Wilderness Channel, left side, right side, try to put the boat where I wanted, make sure I could paddle through, get through all the features as successful as possible, with as few swims as possible. Here's just a little bit of the scenes I've put together of the successful lines that I had on the wilderness side. So with multiple successful runs, I put my boat where I wanted it. And if I had any mistakes, I was able to correct and save the boat. I finally decided it was time for me to do the comp channel. One more swim trying to have a little play on the exit ramp. And here we go. My first descent down the comp channel. And wouldn't you know it, I do what I always do. Tighten my hips, go into it, a little nervous and over I go. Always trying to be aware I'm at, me and my boat. Grab my boat, successfully get out. And if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. I'm not giving up that early. So back in the boat and off we go to try to finish the rest of the comp channel. Adrenaline is pumping, and as I round into Carnage Corner before the big drop, I am super pumped right here. All I need is a good clean line and a successful drop. I don't think I could have got any cleaner. Man, I was stoked for that one. Great day at the Whitewater Center. Had a great day with friends. And what a great finish.